Yes, good evening once again, Akanksha and Anmol. So let us continue with the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Uh, let us first recapitulate what we had done yesterday. We had discussed the poet, Robert Frost. I have highlighted about his life, how the poem that you are reading is an outcome of his own life experience. Then we were introduced to the poem where you got to know about the gist of the poem that suggests, that conveys a lesson, a message that we have many choices in our life, but we have to choose one and every choice that we make that does have an impact on our life, on our future. So we have to be very, very careful while making choices. You were also presented with the summary of the poem so that you can have, you could have a brief outline of the poem and it would be easy for you to understand. I hope that the summary had helped you. Now here, a little bit of the vocabulary that is there in the poem you were introduced with so that it is easy for you to understand the meaning. And you people gave a very good response when I was discussing the vocabulary with you. Stanza one we had concluded yesterday, yet I would repeat this, okay? Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Two roads, the poet was going, the poet has presented a narrator. Let us say the poet was going or the narrator was going through the forest when he reaches one folk point where it was divided into two roads. It was yellow wood, yellow, because of the autumn season, all the leaves were yellow. The poet has taken up this very feature, yellow wood. Here, yellow wood symbolizes, here yellow wood represents the world. The world where so many people live. So when he says that he was walking in the forest, this is actually our life where we come across such folk points such situations. We come across a situation, a point where we have to make choice. The poet had two options, two roads, but he had to choose one. And sorry, I could not travel both. He wanted to travel both the roads. Why? Because he did not have any experience of any of the roads. But it was not possible. It was difficult for him. So he was sorry, he regretted. He was sad that he wanted to travel on both the roads, but he could not. So he had to choose only one road. It's just like the choices we make in our life, children. When we have so many choices, we cannot have all the choices together. We have to make one choice only. So we have to be very careful. And be one traveler. The poet while walking through the forest, forest was a lone traveler. There was no companion. He didn't have anyone by his side. So long I stood. He kept on standing at this folk point for a long time. Why? And look down one as far as I could. Why did he keep standing there for long? Because he had been looking down the road. He had been standing long at the folk point is just like in our life, we take time to make decisions. When we have to take a decision, we take time. 
we discuss with the people, we think of our future, whether it is good for us or not. Similarly, he had also been standing there taking time, looking at one of the roads as far as I could, meaning as far as he could see, till the point he could see the road, till the point the road was visible, he had been looking down on the road, where it went in the undergrowth. Beyond a point, the road, it had bent, meaning it had turned. It had turned under growth. It had turned under the bushes, the plants, the vegetations. So beyond that very point, where the road goes to, it was not clear. It was uncertain. What lies there, he didn't know. So undergrowth here represents that uncertainties in life. When we make choices, we get to know about those very choices that we make from those very people who have experience. But we have not experienced it. So once we start carrying out with the choice that we have made children, we are completely unaware of the results. There is complete uncertainty. Ek choice hum lete hai, hume uske baare mein kuch nahi pata, kyunki hume to uska experience nahi hai. Mene aap se poochha, mene akangsha se poochha, anamol se poochha, aapke parents se poochha, aapke friends se poochha, aapne teachers se poochha, ki ye kaisa rahega, har koi mujhe apne apne experience ke baare mein batayega. And that does help in making a choice. But uske bavajud, jab mein us choice ko lekar aagai badhti hu, to aage kya hooga, I don't know. Is that clear? So here, the brief explanation has been given, which was discussed yesterday, but I would repeat. Okay, Akanksha, will you read this? Akanksha, I would appreciate if you read this. Yes. Yes, ma'am. You please read this at the bottom. Okay, ma'am. Yes, good. Okay, ma'am. Good. The poet walks in the forest on an atom morning. He right. comes to a war for... Right, right. Carry on. Yes, ma'am. Carry on. I'll tell you later. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. He comes to a fork point which is leading to two different paths. He regrets that he cannot walk on both the roads being uh, one individual. Therefore, he stands in the middle and analyzes the road as he in is in a dilemma. Ma'am, what will we read? Dilemma. Dilemma. He comes down one road till, uh, till why he can see a band that dissolves with the undergrowth. It, it happens in our life also when we have choices. We have, we have options, but we have to choose one only we take time to decide. Yes, good. But now you please listen to me. Okay, uh, listen to me. I will read this. Okay. When you listen to me, Akansha, you will get to know a few words how you have to pronounce. Unko aap kaise bolenge? Right? Or reading ke time. Okay. Jab full stop hota hai, to hum lamba pause lete hai. Jab comma hota hai, to hum ek short pause lete hai. All right? So now you will listen carefully and you will look at the screen also so that you see that how I change when there is a punctuation mark like full stop or a comma, right? The poet walks in the forest on an autumn morning and is silent here, okay? He comes to a fork point. Again, R is slightly silent. 
which is leading to two different paths. He regrets that he cannot walk on both the roads being one individual. Therefore, he stands in the middle and analyzes the road as he is in a dilemma. He looks down one road till where he can see a bend that dissolves with the undergrowth. It happens in our life also. When we have choices, we have options, but we have to choose one only. We take time to decide. I hope stanza one is clear to you. Yes, ma'am. Can I go to the next? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, now here is the next slide. Yes, ma'am. Where you are going to read stanza two. In stanza one, he comes to the folk point. He comes across two roads. He has to decide which road to take. One road he assesses and he looks at it as far as he could see. Now what happens, what does he discover? Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted real. Though as for that, the passing girl had warned them really about the same. Try to understand each and every line. Then took the other just as fair. He looked down the one road and he found that the road was traveled one, used one. The travelers had walked on that road. Then he took the other. Now he looked down the other road. He tried to assess the second road. Just as fair. Just as fair meaning he found the second road also as good as the first one. He found it similar to the first one, but they were not same. Do remember, just as fair, the second road must also be good like the first one. What here the poet is indicating children, whichever road we take, meaning whichever choice we make, there are definitely positive results also. We should not assume negative things. We should not assume there would be failure. I will not succeed. Or it would all be negative. No. Everything in life we have around us that does provide us positive things also, advantages also. जो भी कोई डिसीजन हम लेते हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि उससे हमें नुकसान ही होगा उसमें कुछ ना कुछ अच्छा जरूर होता है हमारे आसपास जो कुछ भी है सब खराब नहीं है कुछ भी खराब नहीं है अगर हम उसमें ढूंढे तो उसमें बहुत कुछ पॉजिटिव है बहुत कुछ अच्छा है दिस इज वॉट द पोएट हैज ट्राइड टू इंडिकेट एंड हैविंग पर बेटर क्लेम Having perhaps the better claim, better claim meaning he preferred, he preferred the second road. First road was the traveled one, that was used one. But the second road, this might also be equally good like the first one. However, the first road, the second road was not traveled one or it must be less traveled, right? He preferred the second road because it was grassy and wanted view. Try to understand this. Because it was grassy. Why he wanted the second road? Because the second road was covered with grass. What does it mean if it was covered with grass? If the second road was grass se covered with grass, what does it mean? मतलब उस पर कोई चला नहीं है मतलब 
राइट उसमें मैम कोई भी चला नहीं है राइट इट इज नॉट बीन यूज इट इज नॉट बीन ट्रेवल्ड it has not been walked with the people or very few people had walked on that road and wanted wear wanted meaning needed the road needed to be used the road needed to be traveled uncertainty to first road par bhi hai chahe bahut log uske upar chal chuke hain lekin second road jo hai उस पर लोग चले नहीं है वो यूज नहीं है सो इट नीडेड टू बी ट्रेवल्ड लोग अनसर्टेनिटी की वजह से उस पर नहीं चलते होंगे लेकिन उसको भी जरूरत है कि उसके ऊपर भी आप चल कर देखें कि क्या होता है राइट एंड नाउ यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग वाई द पोइट वुड चूज द सेकेंड रोड डिस्पाइट नोइंग द फैक्ट दैट इट इज नॉट बीन यूज अब देखो आपको एक छोटी सी बात बताऊं अक्सर आपने अपनी लाइफ में देखा होगा जो सब लोग कर रहे होते हैं ना हम वही करते हैं ऐसा होता है कि नहीं इज इट जस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल जस्ट थिंक ऑफ दिस कोविड वैक्सीनेशन राइट राइट इन द बिगिनिंग व्हेन कोविड वैक्सीन वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इट वॉज लॉन्च वेरी फ्यू पीपल वर कमिंग फॉर वैक्सीनेशन ऐसा हुआ कि नहीं है ना बहुत कम लोग आ रहे थे वैक्सीनेशन के लिए क्योंकि लोगों को अनसर्टेनिटी थी उनको पता ही नहीं था तब तक वैक्सीनेशन वाज लाइक सेकंड रोड राइट एंड नाउ द पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड कमिंग जब कुछ लोगों ने लगवाया उसका इंपैक्ट लोगों ने देखा कि उनको फर्स्ट डोज लगाने के बाद कोविड हुआ राइट right? लेकिन दे कुड दे कुड रिकवर दम उन्होंने रिजल्ट देखे तो क्या हुआ अब सब लोग वैक्सीनेशन के लिए लाइन में लगे हैं सो नाउ वॉट इट इज दिस सेकेंड रोड ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन हैज बिकम लाइक द फर्स्ट वन आपको समझ में आ गया सेकंड रोड का स्टेटस यस मैम राइट यस मैम दिस इज वन एग्जांपल देयर आर मेनी सच एग्जांपल्स वेयर यू विल फाइंड व्हेन वी मेक चॉइसेस वी मेक अ कॉमन चॉइस वी डू नॉट मेक एन अनकॉमन चॉइस सो सेकंड रोड इज अनकॉमन रोड इट इज जस्ट लाइक दैट अनकॉमन चॉइस व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट हैज नॉट बीन कॉमनली यूज्ड right though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same ah uh, yes now the point here it is that i uh, left here the point was that why would the poet take the second route the poet was adventurous the poet was initiative he was an initiator he wanted to take initiative he wanted to set an example if he travels on that second road the others would also follow him kai jaate hain to aap dekhte hain na ek rasta hai usi pe sab log ja rahe hain ek aur rasta bhi hai us pe shortcut bhi ho sakta hai par koi nahi jata aap kisi ek ko jaate hue dekhte hain kehte hain nahi ye ja raha hai hum iske piche piche chal ke to dekhe kya hota hai and then you find oh this is easier this is better Isn't it? लेकिन हम क्या करते हैं हम वेट करते हैं किसी एक को स्टार्ट करने की राइट सो दिस इज वॉट पोएट थॉट दैट ही शुड टेक अप द सेकेंड रोड बिकॉज इट नीडेड टू बी ट्रेवल्ड इट हैज नॉट बीन यूज बाय द पीपल वंस ही ट्रेवल्स ऑन दैट रोड दो एज फॉर दैट पासिंग देयर दैट पासिंग देयर मीनिंग when the poet travels on the second road when he walks on the second road had warned them really about the same had warned them meaning tab dono roads them meaning both the roads they would be almost the same about the same meaning not completely same but almost the same 
लगभग दोनों रोड्स एक जैसी हो जाएंगी सेकंड रोड पर किसी को चलने की जरूरत है एंड द पोएट वुड ट्रेवल ऑन द सेकंड रोड जब पोएट उस सेकंड रोड पर ट्रेवल करेगा तो सेकंड और फर्स्ट रोड दोनों ऑलमोस्ट एक जैसी दिखने लगेंगी ऑलमोस्ट नॉट एक्सैक्टली द सेम बट यस दे वुड बी क्वाइट सिमिलर नाउ आई गिव यू वन मोर एग्जांपल हियर चिल्ड्रन हाउ द पोएट वांटेड टू सेट एन एग्जांपल आई ऑलवेज गिव दिस एग्जांपल टू माय स्टूडेंट्स uh let me remind you of kiran bedi ips kiran bedi are you familiar with the name ips kiran bedi ka naam suna hai na yes ma'am yes ab dekhiye ips kiran bedi ne jab ips join kiya tha indian police services join kiya tha she was the only woman to join the police services do you know that she was the only woman she was the first indian woman to join the police services and that time when she joined it was a second road for her because tab tak kisi bhi ladki ne police force join nahi kiya tha kai logon ne usko discourage bhi kiya but she was determined she wanted to set an example and she joined ips she became an ips officer aur uske baad se kya hua jab wo ips bani to uske baad kitni ladkiyan aaj aap dekhiye indian police force mein hain indian police services mein hain aaj kitni ladkiyan ips officers hain to kiran bedi had set an example like the poet the poet traveled on the second road kiran bedi traveled on the second road by joining ips as the first indian woman right and after that so many women followed her and today indian indian police has so many women in the police force i hope it is clear to all of you yes ma'am samajh me aa gaya beta yes ma'am so the, there can be a question in the reference to context that why did the poet want to pass there why did the poet want to travel there usme two things you would mention one is because he was adventurous right and second thing is he wanted to set an example he wanted to set a trend he wanted to be exemplary he wanted to be a, a trend setter right because if one takes initiative then others would also follow him i hope it is clear yes, yes ma'am okay now let us read this uh yes anmol now you read please okay ma'am the poet looks down the other road box on the second road because he feels that the both the roads are good they appear to be similar yet he finds the second road better as it is covered with grass this suggests that the road is less traveled it is grassy as it has not been traveled by people so he decides to walk on the same to make it a use for travel road like the first one he actually wants to set a trend so that others also follow him and travel on the second road then both the roads would be same even in our life we make any choice but all of them have benefits and challenges as well and we must face them right so very well read and more good going yes now i will explain to you the poet looks down the other road walks on the second road because he feels that both the roads are good the first line of the second stanza says this then took the other road just as fair second road why did he walk on the second road because he found 
that second road was also as good as the first one. What he means to say, ki life may kuch bhi aap choose kare, plus or minus dono hota hai. Positive or negative dono hota hai usme. Positive hai to you enjoy, negative hai to you accept it as a challenge. Right? We should accept it as a challenge and we have to overcome that challenge. Isi liye, he had taken up the second route. Ki jo challenges aayenge, mein face karunga. Right? They appear to be similar, yet he finds the second route better as it is covered with grass. Dekhne mein dono roads ek jaisi lag rahi thi, par dono ek jaisi nahi thi. Why? Because the second road was much more covered with grass. This suggests that the road is less traveled. The road was covered with the grass because it has not been used. It has not been traveled. The people have not walked on that road. It is grassy, meaning it is covered with grass, leaves, as it has not been traveled by people. So he decides to walk on the same to make it just a minute. To make it a used or traveled road like the first one. So he decided to travel on the second road to make it, to give it the status of the first road and to become a trend setter. He wanted to take an initiative, he wanted to set an example. He actually wants to set a trend so that others follow him and travel on the second road. He had started traveling on the second road so that the people would come to know that the second road is being traveled. They would also start traveling on the road. Again, I will remind you, Jaisa Kiran Bedi ne socha ki main IPS join karungi to mere piche piche ladkiyan apne aap police force mein aayengi. Army mein aap dekhiye, air force mein aap dekhiye. Abhi isi week, three days before, one more woman pilot from Jammu Kashmir has been uh, taken in as fighter pilot in, in Indian Air Force. Then both the roads would be same. Or the second road par bhi log chalna shuru karenge, right? Meaning when the people start making uncommon choices, they would also become common. Aaj agar aap ye kahe ki IPS join karna kuch uncommon hai? No, it's very common. Today the girls can do anything. Air Force mein bhi jati hai, Army mein bhi jati hai, Naval Force mein bhi jati hai, Police Force mein bhi jati hai, Mountain Climbing bhi karti hai. All these were once upon a time, they were like second roads. But today they have become like first road. Even in our life, we make any choice, but all of them have benefits and challenges as well. And we must face them. Challenges are hain, lekin hume un challenges ko face karna hai. This is what the poet has tried to indicate. Right? Shall we go to the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes. Just a minute. Yes. Now let's go to stanza three. And both that morning equally lay. In leaves no step had trodden black. Oh. I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Try to understand. And both that morning equally lay. In the morning, when he looked at the two roads, he found that they were looking equal. There was no difference between the two roads. Why? Because in the morning, in leaves, no step had trodden black. What is black here? What does black mean? Steps. 
ब्लैक ब्लैक मैम मैम काला ब्लैक कलर ब्लैक कलर फॉर व्हाट मैम जो टायर के निशान होते हैं बच्चे ब्लैक मीनिंग रोड हियर रोड ओके ओके मैम इन लीव्स नो स्टेप नो स्टेप मीनिंग नो बडी हैड ट्रोडन मीनिंग वॉक्ड ऑन द रोड ब्लैक मीनिंग रोड ट्रोडन मीनिंग स्टेप्ड वॉक्ड नो स्टेप मीनिंग नो वन हैड वॉक्ड since the two roads were covered with leaves because early in the morning no one had walked on the road so both are looking equal oh i kept the first for another day here the poet decides he takes a decision what he decides that he would keep the first road for another day meaning if needed sometimes in future he would travel on the first road but he would choose the second road to travel why because yet knowing he knows how way leads on to way he decides to travel on the second road and first road he just leaves behind he thinks somewhere in future if needed he would see to it yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back yet knowing despite knowing despite knowing meaning ye jante hue ye jante hue how way leads on to way ek raste se बेटा कई रास्ते निकलते हैं वन रोड लीड्स ऑन टू मेनी अदर रोड यस दिस इज वेरी ट्रू अगर हम लिटरल रोड का मीनिंग भी देखें तो आपने देखा है कि आपके घर के सामने वाली रोड कहीं ना कहीं किसी और रोड के साथ कनेक्ट होती है फिर वो रोड आगे किसी और रोड के साथ कनेक्ट होती है इज इंट इट एक रिंग रोड दिल्ली की कितनी रोड्स के साथ कनेक्ट होती है राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द पोएट न्यू हाउ वे लीड्स ऑन टू वे एक रास्ते पर चलो तो कई अनेकों रास्ते निकल आते हैं कई अनेकों रास्ते मिल जाते हैं कई अनेकों मंजिल सामने नजर आती हैं। येट ही डाउटेड ही डाउटेड He was apprehensive. थोड़ा सा उसको संकोच था थोड़ा सा उसको शक था He was not sure. He doubted, meaning he was not sure if I should ever come back. He was not sure that if needed, he could come back to the first road. उसको ये श्योर नहीं था कि अगर वो कल को चाहे तो सेकेंड रोड पर ट्रेवल करने के बाद क्या वो फर्स्ट रोड पर वापस आ सकता है वट एक्चुअली ही मीन्स टू कन्वे द पोएट वॉन्ट्स टू कन्वे टू अस वंस वी मेक वन चॉइस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ऑल्टर इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू चेंज दैट वेरी चॉइस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्विच ओवर टू एन अदर चॉइस that becomes more challenging so what he means to say that once what you have chosen why not to accept the challenges there overcome and definitely this way it would it would lead you on to the success i hope all these five lines are clear yes ma'am sure? yes ma'am okay each and every word is clear right okay akanksha you read now okay ma'am yes the next morning i think akanksha akanksha 
आकांक्षा यू स्टॉप प्लीज आपका थोड़ा सा कनेक्टिविटी मुझे लग रहा है ओके मैम नहीं आ रहा है सो अनमोल वुड यू रीड प्लीज यस मैम I want you people to do reading also. Okay? Yes, carry on. The next morning, he goes to the fog point again and finds that both the roads are similar. Both have leaves on them, and no one has stepped on them, as they are still green in color. He chooses the second road and decided decides. to keep the first one for another day he knows that one way leads to 